What is up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to do a gold leaf design with a black offset. This design is available on my website. Link in the description for you to download. They both come in one file together. They have the uh, alignment marks to help line them up. Also, I have this guy. I want to show you. I have this file available for download on my website also. If you remember, this design right here was on my 4th of July video. This video right here shows you exactly how to do this. The only difference I did, I left this. It was all blank white and I sprayed it yellow the same time I was doing the blue and the red. And then the same distressing technique. For this one, we're gonna be using this tumbler right here and we're gonna put this Marines logo on the back. We're gonna start off with that and we're gonna put this on and spray it black. So let's do that. <laughs> All right, I've taken the stencil off. All that's left is the black part that we painted. I left the black vinyl squares on so that I can line up for my gold leaf. Ooh. You could very well have just probably used the vinyl part for this if you'd rather. That's fine. I just wanted to paint it. I wanted everything on here to be paint this time. That back there is the vinyl. So, I mean, you can't, nobody's gonna tell the difference. You do what you want. But I just wanted to paint. I'm not happy if I'm not using my airbrush. We're gonna let that dry fully before we even try to stick this on there because you don't want to pull any of that hard work off and if you did the vinyl you just move on to the next step we've got our part two on clear so you can see through it and what i'm going to do is take these two squares right here and line them up with these two guys and roll it on and when you get around see the last square and you get it you know you got it right Ready. All right, now you got a few choices here. We've got our stencil on. It's beautiful, ready to do some gold leafing, or I like to give you guys options. So if you didn't want to mess with all this gold leaf, which is beautiful, you could just color it in with an 18 karat gold le oh, guess leafing pen. Color in all your areas and then pull your stencil off. That would work fine. Or you can airbrush it. Do a little color fill in. And you might be wondering, what did you do? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little color fill in because a lot of times when you lay gold leaf, it won't get all the areas like this. You might have some holes showing through. What I like to do, and it's optional, you don't have to do this, is to paint a goldish color background. That way, if you peel it off and you miss some spots, it's not that big a deal. It's not crazy. And you can see, if you want to touch it up with this, like dab this down and get you a tiny little brush and touch it up. You can do stuff like that. And doing it this way, you can see where your design's supposed to be. I don't know, some people do it, some people don't. You pick. I like to give you guys choices. Or you could just paint on some gold acrylic paint and be done that way. I don't know, I don't, you, listen, I give you the choices, you do what you want, okay? Experiment, find out what works for you and then do it, so let's go. But before I paint this, I gotta mask up the outside so that when you're spraying it don't get over here. So let's do that. There. All masked up, ready to spray. So let's do that. Now that we have our design dry airbrush, it only took about 10 minutes to let that dry. Focus. It's time to put on our gold leaf, sort of. First you gotta put down some kind of gluey stuff. And this is the Mona Lisa brand and they suggest using this Mona Lisa gold sizing. You might could use Tacket. I don't know, maybe. Try it out, see if you like it. But not today. Today we're gonna use this stuff because that's what it suggests. We're gonna brush it on. Actually, we're gonna sponge it on for good even coverage. Then we're gonna wait 30 minutes and remove our stencil. That way, hopefully it'll leave us with some nice clean edges and we'll apply our leaf. But let's just uh, put this stuff on. Shake it. This stuff goes on kind of milky looking. When it dries, it's clear, so you'll know it's ready. Mine's still a little bubbly from shaking it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. 
And you could use this if you'd like. Whatever, personal preference. All right, now we let it dry. Let all this milky, milkiness turn white in 30 minutes, which is half the time. We're gonna go ahead and take this stencil off just because I've let stencil stay on till the full dry, put the leaf on, and the stencil pull off some of the edges, which is not nice looking, so just be patient. All right, it's been 30 minutes. As you can see, the milkiness has gone away. It's clear, and we're gonna go ahead and take our stencil off. All right, now it's been 30 minutes. I pulled the stencil off, and if you notice, it pulled some of that black crap off. But it's no problem. It's cool looking if you want to keep it that way. But if you don't, I'm going to touch it up with some black acrylic paint and this little brush. No big deal. <clears throat> it's not many spots. You can do it with a Sharpie if you want to. But it feels kind of dry. It's been 30 minutes. I got the heater on in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it and see what happens. Listen, it just goes to show you these things don't always go perfectly. Don't stress out about it. They don't go perfectly for me either, but you just fix it and you learn how to make things work for you. And I'm just gonna do that with this later. Not right now. Right now I'm gonna lay the gold leaf. Now this gold leaf is beautiful. It's called variegated. You can get silver leaf, gold leaf, and these different colors of variegated leaf, as you can see back here, which is ridiculous. It reminds me of like those oil gasoline spills on the pavement make like the rainbow colors. Really cool. And I thought this one would be cool. Even though it says green, there's no green in here. I don't know what they're talking about. But it has blues and reds and all. I feel like it'd go great with that. So that's what I'm gonna use. The first thing you wanna do with using this stuff is turn off any air, all your heat, anything that moves air, because this stuff is paper thin. It's like less than paper. It's like, I don't know, what's, what's thinner than paper? Anyway, it's really delicate, really thin. Just gonna open it up, get your sheet, and we're just gonna move the camera over here, and we're just gonna drape it on like we're tucking it in. A nice, long, cozy nap. Really gentle. It's very delicate. We're just gonna take it. The wind's still blowing. It's nuts. What? Take it and drape it right on it just let it fall <sighs> blow it on and the best thing i found is one of these little makeup brushes just give a little burnish nice little circular motions with that work all them areas and you're going to notice this stuff's going to start coming apart and it's going to make a heck of a mess all that leaf that's not attached to stuff is going to go everywhere and once you get it all flattened out nicely then you get a little more aggressive with it and you just start you'll see the design start coming to life popping up out of nowhere. Look, there's the globe. Look at that. That's like magic. Isn't that crazy? Just don't get in a hurry. Take your time. Be patient. It'll all come off where it's the sizing is not eventually. Look at that. Look at that little design coming out. Isn't that awesome? Like I said, it's going to make a mess. Gold. Let your kids play with the gold. I don't know. My kids like to. They like to pick up the big chunk pieces. Okay, so I broke my tripod. For some reason, like this thing broke right off. Like, what are you doing, man? I gotta get a new one now. Here's the other piece. Like, what? Anyway, piece of junk. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Look at that eagle come out. What? That's sick. That's so nice. Look at that. It's just like magic revealing the uh, design underneath. Look it over real good. Get all your little spots. <sighs> this stuff is beautiful. Come here, come here, take a look at this. Look at the detail and design of that. Now, like I said, I'll, I'll probably come back in, touch up that black crap. You'll have that sometimes. I used automotive paint. Sometimes when you use automotive paint and a, a stencil, a vinyl that's not rated for automotive paint, it'll do crazy stuff. But if you don't spray heavy, usually you don't have a problem. I might spray a little heavy. It's fine. But I'm just going to keep on cleaning this off, revealing the magic. Look at that big old sheet right there. Look at that. Whew. Flow to the bottom. Just go. Be free. Hey, look, socks and sandals. Hey, how you doing? Still got a blowout. All right, now that is beautiful. Look at all those colors. Look when the light hits over here as it shifts around. Look at all those colors. Isn't that ridiculous? Look at that. It's just like those little oil slicks on the pavement that I used to talk about. Like when I was a kid, uh, you'd get out of the car and you'd see the little gasoline spills and it would look like this. Beautiful. And I was like, man, if they can make a color or some kind of paint that does that. Like this is the closest thing I found to it. Like that variegated. That is insane. So now I'm going to touch up the little black spots. Seal it with my... 2K Mate Clear A. If you want to see how to use that, how to spray it, the whole nine yards, click this video right here. And next thing you see, I guess, will be like a little Revealy Billy. Here we go. <laughs>